Hello, welcome to our session on comparing quantities. We have finished um, to, uh, taking this profit and loss discount VAT. We have now, um, we are sorry, we are now into taking up computation of compound interest. Before moving on to explaining the formula, let us take up a, a couple of questions which will help us understand the difference between a simple interest calculation and a compound interest calculation. I put up the first question here. With that help, uh, with the help of that question, I'll be explaining how we calculate what is the inherent meaning of calculation of the compound interest. It says find the compound interest. We'll also see how is it different uh, from uh, the simple interest to calculation. Thousand, sorry, thousand for two years at a rate of 4% per annum. Compound interest means the interest for a previous year gets compounded with the principal for the calculation for the next year. Had this been a simple interest calculation, we would have simply, I am taking this space here to show the simple interest calculation principal if you recall correctly into rate of interest multiplied to the number of years so this is the way we calculate so i think i'm getting 80. now what happens in compound interest is we don't calculate the whole interest actually in two years we'll be calculating the compound interest every interest every year so for the first year for the first year the interest will be sorry i made a mistake there instead of s it has become d so for the first year we'll be calculating interest as we generally calculate for a simple interest so it becomes 1004 percent for one year for the first year i'm talking about so i'm getting it as rupees 40 this is the interest for the first year. So what becomes the amount at the end of first year? We have to see that amount at the end of first year. Let me write it. I'll be using this short form. Amount at the end of first year is equal to 1000 plus 40. That is 1040 rupees. This will work as a principle for the second year. Now we'll calculate interest for the second year. Now for that, am this amount for the previous year becomes the principle. So it is 1040 into the rate remains same. It's again for one year calculation. So this getting cancelled. And if I get this as 2, this will be 5. So it is 208 by 5 and that's coming down to be 41.6. This is interest for the second year. So actually the amount at the end of the third, sorry, second year will be the principal at the first of that year plus this interest. That's coming to be 1081.60. So the total interest for both the years become first year it was 40, this one. And for the second year it is 41.60. So it becomes 81.60. Right? I write it here. Rupees 81.60. Now this is, uh, look at the uh, total interest when we calculated it as per the simple interest. We got it 80 and here it has become 81.6. This is the basic difference between a simple interest calculation and a, <coughs> sorry, and a compound interest calculation. Even we'll, in the later stage we will see uh, that um, how we can find this uh, using a formula directly. Let's move on to take another question. The difference here will be the rate of interest being paid not per annum it is paid half yearly then how the calculations differ 
Let me again write this question. Find the uh, compound interest on rupees eight thousand for one oh, sorry one whole one by two years at ten percent per annum interest being paid half yearly i'm just using some short uh, writings so rate of interest given uh, as 10 percent per annum as because the interest is informed to be paid half yearly that means in one year the interest is paid twice so this 10 percent per annum will actually be given as five percent in the first six months and another five percent per another six months so when we are writing <clears throat> or we are calculating the interest for one and a half years so i will uh, start solving here with interest as because uh, the interest is paid uh, twice in every year so i will first be calculating interest for the first half year again the same way as we did the previous question this is 8000 is the principal this is the rate now as because i told you how it has become 10 percent to 5 percent and then it is one because I'm I have so I have changed this percentage had I not changed this percentage then I would have changed the time now I have changed the percentage so I'm keeping time as one now in one and half years that means three times the interest will be paid because will be, there will be three six months coming in one and half years this I am getting to be like 400 this is at the end or uh, this is the interest for the first half year so we'll again be calculating the amount at the end of first half year amount at the end of first half year will be the principal plus the interest and that's rupees 8400 for the next for the second half year for the second half year interest will be interest for the second half year this becomes principal the one we had taken 8400 so I'll calculate 8400 at the rate 5% again I'm taking this as 1 because we have already converted it so 5% of this is 420. This is interest for the second half year. So amount at the end of, amount at the end of second half year will be 8400 plus 420 is 8820 oh god here it is 8820 this is amount at the end of second year again there will be third calculation for the rate of interest given i write here some other color yeah so we will be writing interest for the third half year interest for the third half year the principal is then will be 8820 so sorry it is oh god i'll write it properly again it is 8820 multiplied by 5 by 100 and again it will be taken as 1 so if you calculate i will be getting here so it is 441 i'm getting 441 so amount at the end of third year becomes it is amount at the end of third half year sorry half year will be 
441 that gives me value like 9261 so what is the compound interest if this is the total amount and we started with 8000 as the principal so the interest interest or you can write the compound interest because the question asks you to find the compound interest so you'll write 9261 minus 8000 that's rupees 1261 hope you followed this way of calculating compound interest this is how it differs i mean this is the difference between the simple and the compound interest we now move on to learn the um, compound interest formula i mean you can directly calculate compound interest by learning this formula the formula informs us that we can calculate amount at the end of a given period is P into 1 plus R upon 100 to the power N. The P stands for principal, R stands for rate, A stands for amount and N stands for um, at, the end, at the end number of years n years actually once we take this you uh, know we take up questions uh, applying this formula it will be easier for us to see how particularly um, the fun the this formula works when it is compounded half yearly or quarterly or annually right so now when you find amount the principle is known to you you can subtract amount minus principle to get the compound interest I take up a very very simple question just to show the application of this uh, formula I write down the question here and this finally I'm fi first part I am taking that when it is given compounded annually there will be no complication when it is compounded annually find the I am using this CI for compound interest on rupees 12,000 for three years at a rate of 10% per annum and this is compounded annually. We have to find interest though but we will first find out the amount hmm? using the above formula. So amount will be principal which is given as 12,000. 1 plus rate is given to be 10 sorry by 100 to the power it is 3 years so we'll be writing it 3 the way calculations are kind of a uh, little uh, more complicated so 100 plus 10 becomes 110 by 100 or you can reduce it as 11 by 10 you have to do this arithmetical calculation as 12,000 multiplied to 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10. 1, 2, 3. So it is 1, 2, 3. So it becomes 12 into 11 into 11 into 11. That giving me 15, 9, 72. This is the amount. We will have to calculate the interest. So it is... I or compound interest is equal to 15972 minus 12,000 and that's giving me rupees 3972. This is the simplest of it when it is given uh, to be calculated annually right in the next uh, session we'll be taking or looking into questions um, where the rate might be given differently or you know this uh, number of years or the compounded annually part is given as either half yearly or quarterly thank you